So I'm a big fan of the uh, original Terminator movies, part one and two. Didn't really care for part three. I thought it was all right. The rest of them, I thought were trash. Uh, I had heard that Linda Hamilton was coming back and Arnold was coming back for a direct sequel to part two. When I heard that, I was like, ah, you know, I think it's kind of too late. They should have done that in the late 90s. But I was like, ah, you know, let me wait for a trailer. Let me see what happens. Well, the trailer dropped. And to me, it looks terrible. And uh, it looks like they're going the social justice warrior route. In the new trailer, they have uh, this Hispanic girl who's essentially taking the role of John Connor. And they show her in the trailer and she's talking about how her life became a nightmare and she has a Latin American accent. I don't know where this movie takes place. I have no idea. If it takes place in Latin America, I guess okay. But if it takes place in the U.S., I think that's actually kind of racist that the Hispanic girl has a Latin American accent. I guess all Latin Americans that live in this country have a Latin American accent. They don't have an American accent, right? I guess. Whatever. And they show the new Terminator. And uh, the new Terminator is like an advanced Terminator, you know. And um, he's also Hispanic. So they, they check that box off too. Then they have the new female soldier slash terminator she's sort of a hybrid we saw that before that was garbage and uh of course you know it's female of course you know with the uh you know lesbian haircut and you know so they had to do that then they uh show sarah connor return and she looks like the lead singer of aerosmith you know i mean it's nice to see her back but i think she looks stupid she's too old and like it's it's over man and uh then they show a scene with this the female soldier slash hybrid robot terminator they show her beating up men of course she's she's beating up police officers in the trailer of course you know all these movies like all these trailers have to show women beating up men they have they have to make it a point that they beat up men you know it's, it's just again with the nonsense we you know we saw arnold schwarzenegger in the second in the trailer for literally one second one second that's all we get and i know it's a teaser i don't care i wanted to see more of arnold and I wanted to hear at least the Terminator theme. Then at the end of the trailer, Sarah Connor's talking about how that they have to save that girl's life in order to save the world. Now here's the here's the problem with th this new Terminator movie. Beside the besides the social justice garbage that they have to continue to shove down our throats, nobody cares about these other characters outside of maybe you know Sarah Connor obviously because she was a you know a big part of the first two movies obviously. But, uh, you know, Arnold is the Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Terminator. So him having a small role, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter. You create these new characters. Nobody's going to care about these new characters. All they care about is Arnold playing the Terminator and the Sarah Connor character. And, of course, you know, they, they had, you know, her son, too, which, you know, ugh, he, I didn't even see him in the trailer. I heard that they recast him as somebody, but it looks like he's going to have some sort of a... Uh, a minuscule role they should just let this franchise die just let it go let it go it's over you're beating a dead horse horse if you were going to do this movie it had to be 20 something years ago maybe in the late 90s you know when arnold was still relatively young this is going to be garbage it's going to bomb i'm sorry i have no hope so you guys let me know what you think maybe, maybe i'm wrong you know what, what do i know this is mike from bensoners keep banging